So I'm uh, Zahid Hassan from Bangladesh. Uh, I work for Data Analysis and Technical Assistance Limited, a local survey firm in Bangladesh. In this video, I'll explain about uh, how the WEI, Women Empowerment in Agriculture Index Survey, is implemented and how time use module basically impl implemented. And then I'll say I'll cover the process of uh, data collection and also some commonly asked questions. Women Empowerment in Agricultural Index assesses uh, women's empowerment over the five domains in agriculture. Mm -hmm. So time use is one of the module, one of the domain. And we need to know, basically it's very important to know that how women spend their time in agriculture and in other livelihoods mm -hmm. and also in domestic tasks management and also whether they have enough time to take care of themselves and their families time allocation uh, for their work and leisure. So that will uh, give us a kind of assessment of whether the women doing all these activities and they have enough time to take care of themselves and their family members, families. Individually, if we are talking about time allocation to implement, it takes about 15 minutes, highest, 15 minutes if you uh, if you implement it properly. If one respondent over here or others, it could influence the other's responses. So it's the best option is to do the time use module simultaneously for a man and for a woman. So use a pair of enumerator, a male and a female. So male could interview the male respondent and female could interview the female respondent. So by this way you can uh, stop overhearing and hence no influence of responses there. If we are to do the uh, time use module sequentially, for example, one after another, then it must be ensured that either male or the female respondent is not around. First of all, that before implementing it, an enumerator has to be trained very well because time use, uh, why I'm saying this? Because time use module requires two things. One is you need to know the respondent uh, should answer uh, what time they start, what type of works, and then also they need to say how long it took to one, uh, for one activity. In rural Bangladesh, since we did it in Bangladesh, the length of activity respondent generally responds by hours or minutes sort of thing. So in that case, it's universal. Most important, they need to know, the uh, enumerator need to know how many activities are there. In the, in the module we tested, there are 24 activities we um, uh, listed. So, uh, if let's say respondents are telling the, uh, narrating their time use, so if the uh, enumerator need to search what activity uh, uh, lies in what row, then that could irritate also the respondent, hamper the narration they are narrating spontaneously, or the enumerator might be fatigued also searching all these mm -hmm. things. So it has to be cleared in training before implementing. Mm -hmm. So there are let's say 24 activities. It's easy if you um, plan something like that. There are A, B, C, D are uh, the starting of the day. It's kind of sleeping and resting, eating and drinking, homework, doing homework or going to school, personal care, this force. From E, it's all employment. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all employment. So if the uh, enumerator knows which row is for which activity, it's easy. So that's two, three things needs to be done before implementing it. So it's better to always fix the wake up time and as the respondent narrate their day, how they spend their whole day, what they do after wake up. It's kind of telling their story of the last day, how they spend their time. It's not asking question by question or listing by listing. So in that case, a respondent may answer maximum, let's say 10 to 12 tasks. So there are 24 tasks listed. So we are not asking all the 24 things that, that could uh, cause problem. Respondent may think, in a different way, okay, I didn't do it, he, he or she might lost uh, the time track. So it's fixing the wake up time and then go by hour. Okay, you uh, uh, take care of yourself, it's personal care, okay, how long it took from wake up to breakfast, for example. So it's 45 minutes washing my face, brushing my teeth, offering my prayers, something like that. So he or she is explaining how he spent the day. 
So the respondent said that he woke up right after morning prayer call. It's uh, around uh, 5.45 to 6. So I put a dot on 5.45 box and then he explained, uh, he also said that he went to bed right after news at 10. So it takes about 30 minutes, the news. So I put a uh, dot on the uh, 10.45, uh, 30 to 45 box. So it means that respondent wake up early in the morning and went to bed after 10. So this whole hours he slept and take rest so I draw a line in sleep and rest then he woke up he said that it took about uh, 30 minutes to um, uh, take personal cares and then took his breakfast for 15 minutes uh, half an hour sorry half an hour and prayer uh, 15 minutes then he started for work. So commuting time was for 15 minutes. So travel and commuting is uh, in you know, one uh, row. It's 7.15. So then he started uh, working his uh, farm that took 15 minutes to go there. He worked about a uh, little less than six hours. So it should be a little less than also 24 boxes since, he, since each box rep represents 15 minutes. So it's uh, six broad boxes one two three four five six so it's two so it's a little less than six hours then he came back it's the same commuting time it's 15 minutes i'm drawing another line for 15 minutes then the personal uh, care for about 45 minutes Offered his prayer for 15 minutes again. And then uh, ate lunch about an hour and sat, for, sat with family uh, another half an hour. So I, I'll strike out four boxes. So watching TV and listening to radio for an hour, so it should from 15, uh, 45 to 16, next page 16, 45. And then again, watch for TV and uh, listening to radio for another half an hour. Then went for socialization, went out, meeting with farmers, friends, and offered also afternoon uh, prayer. So it's from five to two hours. So afternoon prayers are here again. So it's a, it's a secondary activity. I'll, I'll explain it later on. And then came back, offered evening prayer, sit with child for his or her homework, so it's care for children and adult, so it's about two hour, one hour 45 minutes, and then go for dinner, again, eating and drinking, and then watching TV so that's how the 24 hours is filled up so sleeping and resting is a primary work because it's so the only work eating and drinking also primary work here personal care is also primary work farming is also primary work traveling and commuting is also primary work the only the religious activities are the secondary work here so that's how the 24 hour marked. I mean, if it's the beginning of the uh, interviewing process, I don't know how long it took. It's, it's kind of difficult. But if it's middle of the process, for an example, okay, I cooked, but I don't know how long it took. The thing is you can help her or him recall that you say, okay, you took 
45 minutes, you said that 45 minutes about taking care of yourselves, or you took 15 minutes to offer your prayer, or you took 15 minutes to commute from your work to home. So is it more than that or less than that? So you help her to recall, compare the length of the time according to his or her other activities in the day. Mm -hmm. But if it's beginning, then you need to set, set a uh, time length for the first work. Mm -hmm. So that you need to ask more questions, okay. Uh, can you tell me uh, other activities you did, how long it took uh, to uh, complete the activity? So then you, you help her to compare according to her other activities. Mm -hmm. So you can say it's more or less and then you fix the time. Mm -hmm. You may cook, that's the household man management task. And you may still feed your baby or you may still um, uh, uh, do some reading. For example, you are cooking, it, took, it takes about 15 minutes time so to finish and then still you are reading. So it's both uh, non-economic activities. So your focus was in, the respondent's focus was in cooking. So cooking is the primary task, reading is the secondary task, task then. So we need to ask the respondent which one uh, she focused for. Probably she got some uh, space during the cooking so that's why she was reading or she was breastfeeding her child. In that case, the breastfeeding or reading is the secondary task. So secondary or primary task is not responded by the respondent. It's more of a training issue to clear, clarify to the enumerators that how they will pick which one is secondary task mm -hmm. uh, by asking what was her focus or his focus, the respondent's focus. It mostly happens for two reasons. One, probably respondent narrated correctly, but we as an enumerator picked it wrongly. That could be one thing, so we need to check. Or it might be that respondent put some gap since he or she is narrating the things. So you just need to reconfirm it by seeing, you can visualize that where there is a gap by column. Mm -hmm. So you need to ask again. From the research point of view, I can say that if you have a very small sample size, then you should go for always typical day. So if yesterday is a holiday, you go back by one day, a working day. That could help uh, not to miss the work, work side also, because that's a big part. If you have a very large sample, it will average out. You can always ask last 24 hours, because there will be some people randomly on holiday, some people on uh, working day. It complicates the enumerator how she, he or she is going to put the responses. Same goes here. If someone says that, okay, I started my uh, prayer at uh, 7 in the morning, it took 15 minutes, then I took half an hour for personal care, and then 15 minutes for commuting. So basically, if it's a one-hour block, the respondent will be in confusion how he or she will pick the responses. So the more detail, it's easier to interview. It takes less time, basically, mm -hmm. if you know, if you can internalize the list of the activities.